What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Just Not Smith channel. You are tuning in for part four on this Ram 1500 truck build that we're doing here on the YouTube channel. We're doing six inch rough country lift with a 1.5 inch leveling kit. So the truck is going to be at seven and a half inches of lift on a set of 26 by 14 uh, hardcore chrome wheels on 35s with some two inch spacers. So pretty much like a 26 by 16 on a 1500. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I hope you all stay tuned and enjoy the video. I've been working on this truck over the last couple of days and painting uh, the lift. We've got the whole lift here, um, cross members, spindles, uh, two of the brackets for the rear, uh, one more bracket for the rear, and the coil springs in the rear. And then we've got the upper control arms and lower control arms that are going a different color. We've got the pucks and the sway bar links that are going a different color. I've also got the sway bar links that are gold out in the paint booth. I haven't brought those in just yet. But this color turned out so sweet, guys. Don't know if it's going to focus. But you can see it's so slick and sparkly. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff prepped. We've got to get this blue sprayed today. So while I prep all of this stuff, clean it all, sand it all, primer it all, base coat it all, and clear coat it all, Please enjoy this time lapse and I will talk to you after all of this blue stuff is finished. Also guys, if you watched the last video, uh, this I wouldn't know if you would call this necessarily a sponsor, but Super Clean sent us out a little uh, gift package or a sample package, I guess you could say, of some degreaser and wheel cleaner. I'm using the degreaser right now, and I don't know if you can see this, but right here is what it used to look like, and that's after the degreaser. I didn't even let it soak or anything. Um, I just sprayed it in degreaser and scrubbed it with a brush. And this stuff is... I mean, it's some slimy stuff. Like if you see, like even if I wipe it with my finger, it doesn't it doesn't really come off. Um, so I would definitely recommend this as just a all-purpose cleaner slash degreaser. And this one also uses biogradable detergents. So if you care about that, then uh, that, I, I know a lot of them, the, the reason that I say that, a lot of them that are biogradable detergents or biodegradable, whatever, um, they don't clean as good as like, I guess like the harsher chemicals but whatever biodegradable chemicals they have found to put into super clean actually cleans really really good so i'm gonna keep uh, spraying this and scrubbing it with the super clean degreaser uh, this is the tough task cleaner slash degreaser by super clean and it is just knock smith approved i would definitely recommend it as a normal general uh super clean degreaser slash cleaner all-purpose cleaner not sure what all surfaces it's safe on but on these aluminum control arms getting all the grease and grime over 150,000 miles it's wiping it straight away uh you know with just minimal scrubbing it's making this lower control arm look probably close to new it would definitely get this lower control arm to a point to where you could hit it with some uh like acid or etching uh like a chemical and actually chemically strip the rest of the stain and stuff off of it but as far as just getting rid of the grease and bringing that raw aluminum back to the surface it is definitely doing a dang good job at that let's see wash it away let's see second pass is even cleaner definitely approve of the super clean degreaser huge shout out to super clean thank you
these parts dry off. I'm gonna go ahead and take y'all out here to the paint booth. Just in case any of y'all are wondering what the paint booth looks like or how it's set up, pretty much a fume extractor from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna be putting another one of those in. I'm not sure if I wanna put it on the other side of where I paint or if I just wanna put one like right here. Um, whenever I'm painting right here or usually my table is sitting over here, it'll suck the fumes that way over towards the extractor. And honestly, it cleans up this whole room in probably five to six minutes after I leave. It does get so, so hot in here. It is 102 degrees right now. So anytime that you see me in here and I look kind of wet, I'm, I'm sweating my balls off, guys. I am sweating so much inside of this paint booth. Um, but, you know, it's all insulated. It gets hot in here. It helps stuff dry a lot faster. Um, so, I mean, it has its pros and cons. And from where it's insulated, I have a couple heaters that I run, so I can actually paint when it's cold outside. But anyway, guys, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and get to spraying and get this stuff done. guys so you all are going to be probably upset with me but i didn't get any footage of installing the rear we've got one of the wheels on and we're gonna have to get a lower control arm bolt from dodge from where that lower control arm seized um i couldn't find any of the actual lower control arm camber bolts at like advance or anywhere like that so we're gonna have to contact dodge monday so it's still gonna be monday before we can get it done or if they have to order it then whenever the bolt comes in so right here is the blue upper control arms, blue lower control arms right there. You can kind of see the colors together. Uh, got the spindles, got the new hub assemblies and dust shields in the spindles. Um, just pretty much had to beat them out of here and then rob the dust shields off of that. I actually went ahead and put on the cross member. We got the adapters on and we've got the wheels and tires on. These are 26 by 14s on 35s. And then right here is all of the blue in the back. So I've got the blue uh, spacer uh, on top of the coil spring. That's gold. Got the gold track bar bracket, blue sway bar end links, and then uh, the gold bracket right there. Same thing on the other side. We've got the brand new Rough Country shocks as well. Moving over here to the other side, blue puck, brand new Rough Country shocks, gold bracket, gold springs blue sway bar in link in the daytime obviously this is going to look a lot better especially once it's all cleaned up the truck is absolutely filthy right now so whenever the truck's cleaned up it's going to look a lot a lot better so the rear was very very easy literally um i'm going to show it just for any of you dodge guys that may be watching this build if you want to do this to your ram 1500 um if it's a 09 i think it was 09 through 11 um, so there's not many years that this kit fits. So got in the leveling kit, which is right here. I went ahead and installed the leveling kit, which is just that puck on top of these six inch struts. Um, and from where those are rough country, the silver finish will match the shocks in the rear. So that'll look really, really good. So as far as stance goes with the two inch spacers and the 14 wides, it's pretty much half of the wheel is sticking out. Um, and then moving on to the back as well. I'm going to do a little bit of explaining right here. So this track bar bracket, it reutilizes the original hole uh, and a new bolt with a crush washer or a, with a sleeve with like a crush sleeve. So you're going to put that sleeve in there, hold that bracket up right there, slide the bolt through. And of course, you're going to have to drill a hole right here in the frame of the truck. So you drill that hole right there where my finger's at. And then over here, you also have a bolt right there at the tip of my finger. You have to drill that hole as well. And then under here, you have one more bolt right there. And then as I said, 
There's a little bitty plate uh, right there that's a brake line drop bracket. And that's all that I had to do. And then there is a vent hose under here that you just climb under there and clip. Rough Country has awesome pictured instructions and that's kind of the only thing. Um, with these brackets right here, the bolts and everything, uh, the bolt holes and everything are already there. So there is one bolt right there. And then there's one bolt right there. And those holes are already there. So you don't have to drill any holes to put those on. Literally, I just had a jack um, on the bottom of the pumpkin. And then I put a jack right there at the yoke of the drive shaft and took off this upper control arm. It's a 24 millimeter. Um, so that upper control arm, just remove that and then bolt this bracket in and then reinstall the upper control arm. You don't have to disassemble the lower control arm. And up here in the top, there's a five inch long bolt that goes up through and then there's a little bitty washer on the top. I should have showed that. I'm very, very sorry about that, but that's in the instructions. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The sway bar end links, they go bent out this way. So they have a little bend in them and that comes out this way. So it bolts um, in behind the frame right there, comes down, bends out towards me and then bolts down there with a nice grade eight bolt and a washer. So the truck is coming along very, 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 very quickly. I've been working on it all day long today. Now that we finally got all of the parts painted and they're dried, as you can see, we have a lot of progress in just one day. Um, so it just, you know, if you're wanting to do this yourself at home, um, just plan on having your truck apart with no seized bolts and everything, you know, having it painted. If you're painting it, then, you know, plan on having your truck part for at least a week or two. If you're having somebody else paint everything and there's parts coming off of the truck that are being painted, you know, I would say a body shop would easily take a week you know, maybe, maybe two or three days at minimum, maybe two weeks. I've seen, you know, body shops are all over the place. It just depends on your body shop, but definitely could be anywhere from one to three weeks, maybe even four weeks uh, if you had to order parts and run into issues and everything. But I would definitely recommend getting it jacked up on jack stands, completely disassembled to where you know exactly what all you need to go back together. And if you live near a bolt store, that's helpful as well. Rough Country did uh, forget a one or two miscellaneous bolts that I did have to go to the hardware store and get, but no big deal. Um, in the directions, it does tell you like what size and length the bolt is. So you just go get you a grade eight bolt of that size and length. And yeah, so as soon as we get that lower control arm bolt Monday, I will go ahead and I will do a time lapse on the front guys. I'm very sorry that I didn't get any um, like actual footage of putting the rear together. It just, I've been working on it all day long and I was trying to have Emery's truck back by tomorrow because he really, really needs the truck tomorrow, but it's not gonna happen. I can't do anything about it. We cannot get that lower control arm bolt. So, so anyway, whenever we pick up that lower control arm bolt Monday, we'll be able to go ahead and put the front lift on, which will include those blue upper control arms and the blue lower control arms and the uh, gold sway bar end links, the gold spindles, and then that cross member that you just now seen on there. And that's gonna really tie the front end together. And then you'll have that gold and blue effect in front and rear. And we'll do a full walk around if Emery has time to let me wash it to make a video on it before he picks it up or if he wants to wash it or if I deliver the truck to him, let him wash it. He actually does the detailing for a living. So either way, the truck will get cleaned up one way or another and we will do a full overview walk around video and show you the truck, you know, completely done. But I just want to appreciate y'all for, I just want to appreciate y'all. That made absolutely no sense. I just want to thank you all and show my appreciation to you all uh, for clicking that subscribe button down below. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button down below and just stay tuned. Part five, I don't know if this is part five or four. I think this is part four. Anyway, I think part five will be the last one or part six if this is part five. So the next video that I post will be the truck reveal video. I'm gonna go ahead and save that and try to build up some footage uh, over the next two or three days and go ahead and get a good quality video and walk around video. I wanna show you this, I wanna show you guys this, oh my God. I wanna show you guys this truck completely done in the next video so then we can move on. We have a lot of 6.0 stuff that we're about to start on. Um, we are about to do a couple parts on the 6.0 and then we're gonna be talking about some plans on completely redoing the 6.0. So make sure that you stay tuned for that guys and I will need your all's comments in those future videos for sure. Make sure to drop a like if y'all have enjoyed this series and I will see you all in part five 
of this truck build video whenever we reveal the complete truck completely done washed up cleaned a uh, little time lapse maybe of me putting the front together and it should be a good video so i appreciate you all for watching guys always remember everybody starts out as nobody and i will see you in the next one peace